Hey guys, right now we are going to talk about containers, or Linux containers more specifically. And they contain applications in such a way that they're isolated from the rest of the system that they're running on. So they contain things, right? Like the application source code, the application runtime, and all the needed libraries. But they are portable, so we can take the things that make up application, in other words, the container, and we can transplant that transparently to another place where you can run containers. We have a virtual machine, and on that virtual machine, we have the uh, application runtime in red, we have uh, the libraries that are needed by the application, so we have lib A version 1, we have lib B version 1 as well, and then we have uh, the application code for application X. Now, on that same virtual machine, we need to go and run uh, another application. And we are introducing application Y um, with this application code. Yeah, there we go, application Y. Now, fortunately, application Y makes use of the same application runtime. So we already have the needed application runtime. Application Y also works with uh, lib A version 1. However, application Y needs lib B version 2. Now, in this case over here, you can't have uh, libb1 and libb2 installed on in the same machine. They are going to uh, create a conflict. So what could happen is that if you upgrade libb1 to libb2, it would uh, result in application Y working, but it would break application X. So what containerization allows us to do is to deploy an application in such a way that we have a container over here, and inside of that container, we would have the, uh, the application runtime, we would have its needed libraries, and here we would have the application code for the, uh, for the pink application. This is application Y. Now, in a completely separate uh, container, what we'll have right now is the same application runtime, but in a different container. We would have its libraries. And the cool thing about this right now is that they could, co uh, they could coexist on the same machine. Both containers could run right now on that particular virtual machine. So what we're doing is that we are scrapping this legacy framework over here, and we are moving towards a more containerized framework. And this is where we would find a lot of organizations migrating applications, because containerization does introduce a, deg a degree of flexibility, rather. In order for you to run a container, you need a container runtime and a container image. Podman is a container runtime. It's an example of a container runtime and a management tool that allows us to run containers in a much more efficient way than Docker. If you want to build container images, you could use a tool called Builder. So this is a tool that we use to, uh, to build container images. We also have another tool called Scopio. And Scopio could be used to, uh, to copy container images. You could use Scopio as well to inspect the metadata uh, that is associated with a container image. 